hand clap to the massive guys with everybody back again for another reaction on this year Miss Telix reaction guys and big up the Miss Telix family for tuning in to yet another reaction and of course if you're definitely new to this channel big up yourself as well guys if you want to become a part of the Miss Telix family definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification click the bell so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through when you click the bell click all notification so you can get all the notifications as they tend to happen this is where I tend to react to a number of videos taking place in Dominica the Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension now guys you might be wondering what exactly is this right there this is pretty much today's society in Dominica of course a number of persons might say it extends to other societies but we're pretty much dealing with Dominica right then since it's so actively involved into the uh, into this society a number of persons are trying In this year instance and of course we've seen some of the, 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 the things that have been happening which of course includes this very thing a summon has been sent to the defendants right there and of course let me zoom in in of course this is this one goes out to Lennox Linton um, of Mon Daniel complaint has made uh, Sergeant Andrew whatever that is yeah on sixth day of April um, that was last month they're making a summons for what taking part in public procession in the city of Roseau without the written permission of the commissioner of police to do so. Interesting right there. Contrary to subsection, the Public Order Act. Guys, actually have the Public Order Act. We're going to review it in a moment. But not just Lennox Linton, guys, but also Danny Lugie as well. I remember that they actually went for, um, um, what's his name, Athimate. They actually went for Athimate. To, to try to prevent him from doing uh, these things right there guys and um this is danny luge's own this one was the 30th day of march 2022 right there now guys in my instance if they're pretty much going for people to summon people to come for 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 the same thing taking part in public procession in the city of Roseau without the written permission of the commission of police to do so um they pretty much have to arrest everybody that that walks in Roseau. And I'll, I'll explain this to you guys what does make any sense right there because they're using the key phrase procession the procession is a very interesting word being used right there and of course according to the public um um, um, um thing act let me just break it we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in a moment guys I'll, I'll break it down in a moment but i just want to point out something that is apparently taking place in canada as a result of this present situation that seems to be happening the summoning of these individuals right there right there so apparently this is going on in canada yeah, 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 man, we on strike. Man. So the people are on strike for Dominica in Canada. <laughs> Block up the place. Don't go and try that Dominica, you know, boy. <laughs> They're striking on behalf of Dominica and telling Dominicans don't try that in Dominica. That's crazy. For them boy to shoot all you, you know. Interesting. I don't think they will shoot people, but it, it, you know, it, it it tends to come close to this um scenario from time to time. You see over here, we have our right to strike, man. Yep. We have strike, see that? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Good. See, a deal, man. Let me see, what is next size? Same thing? See, man? On strike. No. That's what I'm... So, it seems like they are striking in their community as Dominicans. Um, I guess on behalf of Dominican, you pretty much say that. But it seems like they are striking for, for, for fair deal, no? I initially thought it was for Dominica they're striking, but apparently they're striking for something else. But they actually have the right to strike on this regard right there. I'm wondering why are they all in this thing? So it seems like they're striking for some sort of fair deal that needs to be happening in Canada right now. However, in Dominica, man is taking a walk. <laughs> man taking walk and police sending someone for man. <laughs> police want to send someone for man. But guys, I, I, I already explained all these things for you. None of this stuff will stick. They're pretty much doing this to try to intimidate people. They're going after the, the leaders, the, the certain leaders of society on the opposition side to try to make people, oh, we're going after them, so all you better be able to listen before we come be after, after you as well. So they are doing this thing in Canada, having strike, and like the individual stated, Block up the place. Don't go and try that Dominica, you know, boy. But them boy to shoot all you, you know. Hmm. You see over here, we have our right to strike, man. We have the right to strike. So they're striking on the basis of whatever is taking place with them. And in Dominica, man taking a walk for, for prosperity, 
for for justice and peace ha <laughs> and they get in sermons right there the leaders get in sermons right there but let's break down the, the the act for you guys so i actually have the act right there after all you guys should know <laughs> you guys should know who you do so that is the act that you're talking about that is what they are charging them with as you can see according to the act according to look at the chapter 1501 we have the 1501 act right there brothers and sisters so we're gonna get into this let me make sure this thing is is thing is thing okay next moving along okay so this is the public order act 1501 this is the pretty much the title of the whole thing we're gonna see the whole thing right there guys we're gonna see the whole thing okay so according to this thing right there an act to make further provision for the pro um, preservation of public order on the occasion of public processions and meetings and in public places right there so what was happening on wednesday which was most likely today is uh they tend to do walks they walk in for freedom justice peace prosperity in any child of the caribbean now for you to understand this whole thing you have to understand the definitions being given right there so meeting means a meeting held for purpose of discussion or matters of public interest or for the purpose of the expression of views on such matters Mini minister means the ministry blah 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 Min public meeting okay we, we, let's go down to public um, procession so public procession this is what it means public procession means any match demonstration or procession in a public place except a match demonstration or procession in these orders right they ordered by an approved um ordered by or approved by the president in respect to uh, you know armed forces and whatnot ordered by or sanctioned by the commissioner in respect to the police force i guess that's what he's talking about right there and then they have by cadet cops boys whatever ordered or approved approved in writing scouts which is um religious processions same so these are that things other than so these things can pretty much religious processions ceremony sanctions by the head of them denomination in the state okay okay we're going on which is part of the wedding a wedding or funeral procession so these things except you know what i mean so you can have these things right there which is sanctioned in written minister blah 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 undertaken by organization approved by the prime minister which takes place on any occasion approved in writing by the prime minister so the prime minister them have to be giving certain authorities right there now guys i want you guys to go back to the whole thing right there on the basis of this whole thing it talks about a match it talks about a match right there i'm trying to make this thing go up click now i guess i go up guys all right then so it means any match demonstration or procession in a public place except a match demonstration so when i was talking to one of the lawyers they told me it is kind of like a gray area if you look at it on the basis of watching a match whether it's a match that can disrupt society but it's not a walk a match and a walk is different and I, I, uh, one of them told me that it is based off what the law deems a match to be now if it's everybody walking in a process let's let's go down we're going lower man let's go down lower brothers and sisters of course anyways it shall be unlawful for any public procession a match to take place unless a permit has been issued in respect thereof in accordance with this act okay public procession brothers and sisters okay and number four where any person desires to organize any public procession public procession again they use that he shall at least three days before the intended public procession they use that again make application application for a permit to the commissioner that's where they, this guy is talking about they making getting thing anyways also to every applicant made in accordance with subsec um subsection one shall contain particulars of the point of departure i guess when it starts the route um, and when it ends of the public procession to which the application relates um relates and the hours between which the procession so pretty much when it starts and when it ends and where the route is uh number five the, the commissioner may in any case in writing grant the application um in cases where the commissioner considers the application should be refused he shall go forthwith refer the application to 
to the who? To the minister which recommends thereon, he shall refuse or grant the application in accordance with the direction of the minister. In cases where an application applicant is granted in accordance with the direct directions of the minister, the commissioner shall issue blah blah blah. Any person who takes part in or organize any public procession without the written permission of the commissioner do so, or who aids, abets, counsels, and I think the rest goes on to state any person taking part in the public procession otherwise or is blah 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 permitted is guilty of an offense. And then it went down to break down, you know, what it should know about using weapons and those kind of things there. I went for the whole thing. Okay, guys. So the whole basis here, they talk about breaking on the meaning. And the meaning here is in match. Matching. Now, I remember when I was watching the, the, the Wednesday stuff. They say they're walking. It's not a match. They're walking. And I remember that they were talking about everybody not being together to cramp up the area. They were talking about, you know some people going there some people over there some people there and they so they spread out all over the place pretty much walking not procession not a match they were doing i think when they're talking about magic they, they mainly refer to 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 disrupting the traffic this is why they need to know the routes if you're walking on the on the, on the sidewalk then it doesn't make any sense that you're not disrupting any vehicle or this kind of things there and in fact i was actually looking at the definition of a um procession define procession yes yeah, so this is it right there guys nope. and procession pretty much states a number of people or vehicles moving forward in an orderly fashion especially as part of the cer of a ceremony a funeral procession is definitely one of them and the base of the the thing they say this is allowed a funeral procession wedding procession this kind of things there these things are allowed uh as as a part of society in these kind of things there so that is what they're saying right there but it's not a match brothers and sisters a match was not taking place and like i said before they made sure that they spread out everybody all over the place so that it is not congested i think the whole base is from what the lawyer was telling me He's telling me that if there is any sort of um, congestion taking place that, that blocks traffic from, from moving on or would like that, then you need permission for you to be able to interrupt the flow of normal traffic. Now, on the basis of that, let's say all this is thrown out the window and they finally brought Lennox them and, and Danny Luge in because they are part of a procession, which I don't think that is the right term at all, but they wanted to charge people for something, so they're trying to do things. You know, like I always said before, they're only doing this to try to keep the people down in this regard right there so a procession that they stated right there now on the basis of walking in an orderly fashion in a basis of walking that means they pretty much have to arrest everybody walking in rosal <laughs> they'll have to make sure that they arrest everybody in rosal because when people are walking you might see a group of people walking from time to time then they would need to arrest these people because if you consider walking a procession on the sidewalk not disrupting traffic then everybody that walking in Roso would need to be arrested. Everybody would need to get a summons. True or false? Because I don't, I don't understand how this makes any sense when you're talking about individuals walking for the basis of this. They're not disrupting traffic. They are pretty much on the sidewalk doing their thing as normal. Then the procession for walking and then knowing the routes and everything for which they will be walk, um, having the procession, according to the police, doesn't interrupt anything. So therefore, it cannot be a procession. Just like when they have match passes in the place, which makes sense, you have match passes, you need to ensure that you tell the police so that the police them, you know, can, okay, divert traffic so that traffic can flow in different ways. You don't just come and just do match pass in the place and just blocking traffic and people want to go to their home and thing. No, that doesn't make any sense. So the procession there actually means matching. It doesn't mean walking on the sidewalk because if it meant walking on the sidewalk, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. If it means walking on the sidewalk, that means everybody in Rosa will need to get a summons. So on the basis of what they were trying to do there, it doesn't make no sense. Like I said before, the only target that they're doing this thing is to try to prevent the people from having an uprising, so to speak, uh, and keep them down in this aspect, even though that they know what they're doing doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense at all. We keep there, we can tell Scary, why are you doing this thing for? You think it is police, the police that does decide, let me come and just make thing and make rule and this kind of thing. So you cannot add meaning to what is not yours. The act is a way to guide the people based off certain things. 
and I was talking to the law. I talked to two of them guys, two of them, and they would pretty much tell me the same thing if it's in accordance to disrupting traffic. This is why you have match passes and these kind of things that when they make the match passes and they walk in in society, you need the permission to do so, so the police can then redirect traffic. This is why they need to do the routes. When it starts, when it ends, so they know when it starts, okay, if it starts at 8 o'clock, then we'll divert traffic this way. It'll go this way. Okay, it ends at, 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 at 10 o'clock or it ends at 12 o'clock. So we know, okay, at 12 o'clock, it should be over by then so we can allow traffic to flow again. So within that route that you actually look into do your processioning, then that would definitely mean that you would need some sort of guide in this regard. This is why they would need to know where the route is so that they can guide traffic according, accordingly. But there's no procession on the sidewalk. It cannot be a procession. Like I said before, I remember what they were talking about. They make sure that people, they were not congested on the sidewalk. So they separated everybody uh, in different places. So that people can be able to freely walk. And you saw the videos. So all these things is just nonsensical. Ask Kerit, why are you doing this stupidness for? I tell you, I tell you already know why. He's doing this to make sure that the people do not participate in certain things that can actually bring bring forth their own freedom. <laughs> but look, thing in that place, we this is why it's so important that first photo, photo I showed. This is today today's society. These individuals out there checking, boy, nothing going to happen to me, even though they're in the same Dominica. It seems like they think the economy. I view this thing as the economy. They think the the boat is sinking. They, they think that just because this individual was actually been speaking of guys we are sinking telling the people we are sinking they're saying well it's not happening to me not realizing they're in the same dominica only in the same dominica we you think dominica is over there and all you there you in the same dominica in the same boat so when they quiver in some and they're trying to buy out some and you feel like oh it's not gonna affect me this is what is happening sooner or later when these people get tired they're gonna let go and then everybody's just, every, everybody's just going to go down. Well, some of us can swim. <laughs> some of us can swim through, but some of us don't have the, the lalin <laughs> to swim to each land. That's a different thing. <laughs> but you have the boat there. Take care of the boat. You see in the water there. Do something. Go and help. You need to help these people throughout the water and try and do something. Maybe one of all you can jump in and look at where, where, where exactly the hole is and, you know, maybe use your shirt or something to plug the hole. And from time to time, while your boat is afloat, you, you, you throw out the little water. Because, I mean, if you're using cloth to block a hole, obviously, water still coming, but not as to the um, fast pace. And then all you can take turns in doing things. But you need to work together. That's what unity is. But the government's so smart. They're making sure the people separate. Hey, not happening to us over there. Let them go in their melee. Even though these people are telling you, guys, the boat is sinking. Sometimes they see the boat sinking. <laughs> they see Dominica sinking. They literally seen Dominica sinking, you know. But they're saying, well, it's not on my side. I get a little money from the government here and there. I good to go. I get a little house, even though I cannot pass down the house to my children. No. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we have to think. But we're not thinking thoroughly. It is a hell of a thing to think, but not thinking thoroughly and not thinking without vision and not thinking with vision. That is a heck of a thing. Not realizing that the boat sinks. You might have your children coming up and they will be in the water, not in the boat. Miss Harry. We have to make Aquaman and Aquawoman now adapting to poverty. <laughs> I something else that just spoiled my mind, you know, guys. The boat is sinking. Children will grow up thinking that there was no boat, thinking that this is what life is being in the water. Their hands wrinkling up and all kind of things. That becomes the new normal. When the people of society back in the day say we had a boat and they didn't take care of it. To reach a destination we're still there circling the water and sometimes there are sharks in the water it's interesting so when these folks are telling people hey guys we need to do something along with Ashley Marty and these people there say now we need to do something about this thing they're getting summons and people just watching thinking oh I'm glad for all you and this and that and this and that I watched some of the Facebook posts some people had smiley faces and this kind of things there on these things not realizing they're in the same boat <laughs> ay 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 but you deadly that place are we all in the same boat we maybe all you just forget maybe all you just forget at least these people in canada can protest. i think one of the reasons why they're trying to constantly do this to the opposition is because i noticed that there was a survey being done and it seems like based on the survey being done i know it's a small survey that actually happened but 
the, the, the question was asked, who is the most capable to, of running the country? And apparently Lennox had a, a 66% in, um, 64%. While Skerritt had a 31%. The results are in. These were them right there. A number of persons voting in a number of places. Make it bigger for you guys to see. So in Dominica, the favor was 50-50. Which is ridiculous. I don't understand. In Dominica, it's supposed to be a complete upper Dominica. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. God, it's 50 52 Virgin Islands, BVIs, they favored, well, one person favored Lennox. St. Lucia, 50 52 United States. Obviously, you know, United States will most likely vote um, more for, for, for Lennox Linton because they're seeing the craziness that happening. Apparently, people in Dominica are not saying, oh, you have 50 50. That's crazy. 50 50. Oh, my goodness gracious. Help us, Father. United Kingdom, they favored Lennox Linton to people. Based of this thing, I think I saw this on um Instagram, eh? Canada, they favored Lennox Linton. Switzerland, famous favored Lennox Linton. St. Kitts favored Lennox Linton. Right there. And of course the votes and the tally of what was actually happening. Indicated that Lennox had 56, scary that thing. So based of based of in Dominica, it seems like it's it's a balanced scale. But overseas, people actually seen. I guess people are comfortable in Dominica. People are customer begging. Maybe that's why. Because that 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 thing there is, is disturbing to me, man. That is disturbing to me, bro. But if it had a real true fair and fair elections, guys, there's no way I'm scared it would win the elections again. Yeah. If it was free and fair, if they wouldn't bring in so much planes in and, you know, bribe any people with money and, you know, there's something I was actually stating on, on Facebook when you're talking about or oh, bringing somebody else and people talking about new people coming in and, you know, replacing who and whatnot. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter who replaces, you know, guys, you have to understand something very vital here. It is about the need. You kill the need, you kill the economy so that people can be dependent on you for their need. They will always be loyal to you. This is probably why you're seeing 50 on 50 there. Even though the people, them want change. And I've talk, spoken to a few labor rights. They want change, you know, but they get a little something here. They get a little house here and there. So they stay, they, they, they feel like they have to vote to continuously stay in the house. But people don't realize, but that is the state house. So what makes you think because you stay in that inside there, if a next person come in, you somebody going to change? Or on the basis, if you have residential status, because the prime minister don't want to give all you um, actual thing, you have your residential status in this place, which means you can stay there for life. So let the prime minister give you that. Huh? Uh, well, maybe that's why he doesn't want to give it to you. Because he's making you think that, hey, if, if they change... Maybe you lose your house. Maybe that's why you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, that private is not easy, you know, boy. That's probably why you don't give people the titles, the residential titles. The residential titles don't mean you own the house, you know. You will just be able to stay there for the rest of your life. And then after you die or whatnot, then somebody else will be places. You're not going to pass to your family members, you know, brothers and sisters. You're not going to pass there. Because it's you that own the residential title. There's a difference between land title, house title, and this kind of thing. There, you know, this is residential. You have the resident, just like America with citizenship versus resident. Some of us are residents in the United States. Others are citizens. You can stay in the United States for as long as you want. But you cannot do certain things. Unless you're an ambassador. <laughs> but that's another story right there. But on the basis of this whole thing, guys, you have to understand. That if we're looking at these charts and we're seeing what is happening in Dominica... We have to wake up. Because if we see in this thing right there, guys, all of us in the same thing. Well, some of us, some of us might be here, but that is not affect everybody. But still, guys, people people need to understand that the Dominica is sinking. Man. And freedom needs to happen. If freedom doesn't happen, then we have a problem. The reason why I tend to say this thing because I'm passionate about people and I understand the potential Dominica has. Dominica has a lot of potential, you know, but it's, boy, you, boy, you mad. Dominica has a lot of potential, man. And Dominica is underutilized. As I travel throughout the Caribbean and the people who are talking about the, 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 the elderly folks, that's why I like the elderly folks. And they're talking about the times back in Dominica where they used to come and go in Dominica and do shopping and all kind of things. With. You would swear because that is the society we raise in. Which Dominica you come and do shopping with? You see the same thing like this? 
Take about the youth and the, the boat again is what they raise up in. The same thing we raise up in a pot, in a pot, a pot. I'm well, I remember how Dominica was back in the day. Where things used to flourish. Banan there's hundred million dollars per year. I remember these things from our own money, not CBI, you know. Our own resources making a hundred million, hundred and twenty million, eighty million per year. I know these figures, you know, guys. <laughs> hundred million, hundred and two million, hundred and twenty million, eighty million per year in bananas. I remember these figures. The figures now what? I think the highest one was 10, 10, around 10 million. Or drop down to 5 million. <sighs> Are we trying to go after tourism? Talk about tourism. I'll do that. Should I do this? Yeah, let me do it, guys. We have, we have a little time, man. Let me do it. This thing we have right there, brothers and sisters. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is apparently the ghetto thing that they turn Rosu into on B-Front. So you have a few stores right there, brothers and sisters. And one of the, the individuals, well, I actually had a, 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 a talk with some of them right there, guys. And they stated that they're not saying anything, but they know that nothing is happening for them, brothers and sisters. I asked them, how, how is sales? How is sales doing? They say, which sales are you talking about? What is sales? They don't know what is. <laughs> Anyways, Mr. Lipsami sent me this message right there, stating to me, about his um, family member and this is what he said to me you guys you see them call a little wood house boy how are we scared renting that for them vendors twenty dollars for every boat alas i feel sorry for my mommy that working there sometimes the lady don't make nothing there and she gave twenty dollars to stay in that little cushion eating scared and them man just grilling the poor people of course that's what they do that's what they tend to do grill them until they cannot you know grind no more all the millions he making there um that is them little house is that what all the millions he making them little house is pocket change if he really want to help the people why he renting them little things for them best yeah just make them buy because twenty dollars for every forever is a lot it all adds up. Yeah, definitely $20 is a lot. It all adds up. Mr. Really working psychology on them people here. Now, my mother gave government $20 for a day of work. And she came back with nothing. Because them people on the boat not buying. Ah, they're not buying. I said it this before. They're not buying anything. Um, nah, man. That hurt me, man. Little $20 the lady had give. So she can be in a little house to sell. And this is what they say, $20 per boat. You know, ask him to clarify. Yeah, $20 per boat, whether they make money or not. My mom working as a vendor in them little colorful house. Alas, I just feel sorry for my mom sometimes. The lady don't make nothing after a whole day. And she still have to end up paying the government $20. Nah, man, that not fear. The poor keep suffering and the rich keep making more on the poor even if it's small on the port my mom does go and make the payment in order to go on the bayfront and work as a vendor imagine you pay 20 dollars to go and make money and you come back without nothing <laughs> she's she's not the only one many other vendors coming out empty at i like i said before I, I guys i got this message yesterday you know i got this message yesterday and I was on Rose talking to some of these individuals when they had um, Thompson Fountain inside the court. I was talking to some of them. Seeing the vendors out there, I asked them how they sell is. They asked me which sale I talking about. Not even twenty dollars. Ay ay ay, they can pay per boat. So if there are two boats there, they have to pay forty dollars. And they cannot even make sometimes they don't make no money at all. It's not my not my message that any brothers and sisters. Some of all you think is my message out there. I'm, I'm the messenger. <laughs> I'm the messenger passing the message to all you. Things are not easy in that Dominica there. In them little cubicle they put in people. Acre box. They're looking like them shop back in the day. Them bread shop. There are people there. <laughs> Boy. I know sometimes you want to laugh or you want to cry. You don't know what to do. Guys, what are your thoughts on the whole thing, man? Just remember that photo there. Just remember, today's society, 
Some people think it's not. Hey, no, do all you want to do all right then. Anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get more videos as they tend to come through, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video, man. Mark